Now, the case has brought many debates over many issues, but what's most important is whether or not the best interest of the child is protected. Here to discuss more on this is Shamila Sekaren from Voice of the Children. The reality is that children are often the most affected, and um, these kinds of conflicts and custody battles often take a most profound um, emotional, psychological uh, toll on any child who's caught in the middle. Um, and this could actually in, uh, you know, lead to an increase in, in all sorts of um, issues affecting children, including uh, dropout of school, behavioral issues, mental health issues. Uh, already we're seeing children having a lot of mental health issues and this will just further enhance or impose greater uh, stress on their mental well-being as well. Lost children were previously placed in a welfare home and she was not allowed to meet or bring them home. Shamila said in cases such as Los, children should always be with their parents before exploring other avenues. Moving forward, Shamila stressed the need to strengthen the country's welfare system and for the best interests of a child to be at the center of every decision making. I mean, the reality is the law is already there. The Child Act already requires all state actors, all parties to consider what's best for the child. And what's best for any child is to have the right kind of nurturing background. You know, um, yes, uh, one's faith is important, but if you come from a bad background where the child is going to end up, um, you know, ending up in some kind of vice, is going to end up a dysfunctional human being, um, you know, uh, getting involved in, in crime and having psychological and mental issues, is that is what best for the child and the, the human being and the adult that that child then becomes, is that is what is best. So in this case, uh, it was not necessary for the children to be removed from the mother or, or not to be given to the mother. Um, if there was a dysfunctional family, you know, in, in the low case, it's, it's a case of parental violence as well or, or domestic violence as well. What really needed to happen and needs to happen in a lot more of these cases is for welfare and societies to step in and support these families so that they don't need to break up and the children do not have to be removed and taken elsewhere to a different state to be looked after by third parties or even by the welfare department and welfare home. Uh, that is where welfare is failing a lot of the children really, but then, you know, it's also to do with having the right kind of political will.